لئن شكرتم لأزيدنكم If you are grateful, I will surely increase you. Welcome to episode 2 of Ramadan series on gratitude brought to you by Solace Islamic Mental Health Services. Invest, writers and self-help experts have written extensively about the power of gratitude. Volumes line bookshelves detailing its transformative effect on our personal and professional lives. And yet, subhanallah, as Muslims, we have been gifted with this wisdom beautifully encapsulated in a part of the Quranic verse. If you are grateful, I will give you more. But what does it mean? How does this divine promise work in our lives? In today's discussion, we delve into the concepts of abundance mindset and scarcity mindset, terms often tossed around in contemporary psychology and self-improvement circles. I invite you to imagine yourself standing under the vast sky as the rain gently falls, each drop a separate blessing. Can you count these drops? Or visualize the countless blades of grass under your feet or perhaps the stars in the sky. Can you count them? It's going to be exhaustive and most likely you won't be able to. Why? The answer lies in the fact that there's a lot of everything in Allah's universe. There's a lot for everyone in Allah's universe. This is abundance mindset. But for the most part, we grow up with scarcity mindset, which is rooted in the belief that there will never be enough. You have to fight for it, and if need be, snatch it, because resources are limited. There is not enough for everyone. This, in turn, breeds anxiety, jealousy, and competition. An abundance mindset flows from a place of gratitude, trust, and contentment knowing that Allah is a razaq the provider, and his resources are infinite. This mindset aligns beautifully with our religion where we recognize that every blessing, no matter how small, comes from Allah. And gratitude for these blessings invites even more abundance into our lives. It's a cycle of positivity that begins with a simple Alhamdulillah. But today, I want you to identify three things that you want more of in life. It can be anything, money, degree, children, or intangible blessings, more peace, more happiness, more satisfaction. Write these things in your gratitude journal, or if you're comfortable, share it with us in the comment section below. And next, present immense gratitude to Allah for the existing amount of these blessings, no matter how little it is. Allah promises to give us more if we are grateful for the existing amount of the blessings. As we continue to navigate through this blessed month of Ramadan, let's strive to maintain an abundance mindset. Encourage your family, your friends and yourself to see the world through the lens of gratitude. When you do so, you align yourself with Allah's promise and the doors to endless possibilities open for you. Stay tuned for our next episode, inshallah. Until then, remember, la in shakartum, la azidannakum.